Okay, today we're going to look at the Fujifilm camera remote app running on Android and we're going to control the Fujifilm X-E3 camera. Uh, we're going to start the app first and then turn the camera on. So what will happen on the camera is that it will, at the top right here, um, there's a Bluetooth icon which is currently grey and that will turn white when it's connected. And there we go. And now we can choose to do a remote release which is taking a picture using the phone. So I can hit the button and take two pictures, which is quite handy. So the other neat thing is, if we go back to the menu, live view shooting. Now this will switch from the Bluetooth connection to a Wi-Fi connection. So it's disconnected from the house Wi-Fi and now it's going to connect the phone to a Wi-Fi access point within the camera. So if you are out and about, this will work without any Wi-Fi access points. It takes about 10 to 15 seconds to switch over. Okay, so now through the app, we can see what the camera is seeing. And you can touch the screen to focus on the object. You can see it changing there. And you can take a picture with the circle down at the bottom. You can also change the film simulations, the ISO, white balance, and the exposure compensation all through the app there. Uh, you can switch it to do a video recording. So that obviously has different settings, so that's letting you switch between those. I'm flip back. So it kind of could be useful for depending on what situation you've got. Uh, I like the fact that this will work without the Wi-Fi connection in your house, so you can go out shooting and know that this will still work. I found the app a little bit flaky. Uh, I was recording this video just earlier, the whole thing locked up. I've had to start all over again, um, just because it's not that stable. We'll disconnect from that and see that we get the remote release option back. So it flips, yep. So it's disconnected from the Wi-Fi on the camera. Now it's thinking it needs to transfer the photos. So it's gone into auto transfer mode, which I cover in one of my other videos. If you're interested in that mode, that's the one I use the most, having it auto transfer the photos whilst you're out and about. That's really handy because the camera turns off and then it initiates a Wi-Fi connection to transfer those photos. So your mileage may vary with the app, let me know in the comments how you go on with this and whether you find live view shooting and re remote release a useful option for your camera. Thanks very much for watching.